if you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. This video includes timestamps, so check out the description below if you want to bounce ahead and just grab the info that you want. Hey friends, I've got a problem that I'm trying to overcome here at the Hot Wrench Workshop. And uh, just for uh, a zoom out view, I have a 3,300 square foot space and my dirty room is back behind uh, uh, cement block walls and I just plain can't hear the doorbell. And I've missed packages. Uh, my door is always locked because I don't do public facing business. So uh, if I am meeting with someone that I, a friend or a, a business partner or something, I always got to go let them in anyway because I, I couldn't have this much space and uh, stuff exposed uh, to an unlocked door. So it's been a problem for me because uh, on how many times I've went and got an email notification or that stupid sticker on the door saying you missed them and it's completely my fault. So uh, recently this uh, Heimvision reached out to me and I get asked to do a lot of home products and I like almost always say no if I, I just can't find a use that's going to make sense for our community. And I thought, oh my goodness, this is a business decision. You, could, you might be a do-it-yourselfer to where you have a shop in the back uh, and you are expecting packages or something in the front of your home. And this is a way I think that's really going to be a good workaround. I have an existing doorbell, so it's real simple. I'm literally just going to hook up uh, two wires, and it even comes with jumper leads if you didn't have them. But uh, I do need to uh, download the app because I'm going to be able to run this from my smartphone and be able to... Uh, I can even be gone now and have those conversations. Plus, it's recording, so it's going to act as a security camera so that I can have a recorded view of, you know, who came and, and, and tried to make contact here at the building or something. Uh, so it's going to be pretty awesome. So uh, I've, I've wanted one of these at my home for quite some time, but this baby's going in the shop. So the other thing is it also comes with a uh, Wi-Fi comes with a little cool bracket so it'll kick it off sideways at your door. I think I'm going to use that one. I'm not sure yet. Do a little test feature. And then it does come with a chime that it can be corded or it, uh, it even comes with uh, batteries. So that's pretty cool. And then it comes with uh, some cables and wiring. comes with a crazy thick manual. Things like a book. So we've got some Walmarting hardware. How oh, funny. I just went and found screwdrivers and it comes with a screwdriver. So, uh, some wire clips. This looks like a resetting tool and then some drywall hardware as well. So, pretty stinking cool. So, why don't I do this? I'm going to take advantage of them putting their QR codes in, the, uh, in their manual right here. I'm going to go ahead and download download the app they have it for both uh, Mac and Android users so I'll get it all hooked up get it talking to each other and then uh, I'm gonna see if I can grab a neighbor or something do like a little test fit uh, on the wall they do have a recommended height of I think it was five feet two inches was the recommended height to get the best view my current doorbell is a little bit lower than that so I got to decide if I want to uh, do the work of, of raising that up I'm gonna try it where it's at and um, see if that does what I need it to do but I really just don't want a video of someone's chest either unless they have a hot wrench shirt on they look kind of cool all right let's get to it let's see if this thing's actually worth it okay then we're gonna go to the app store Okay, so one of the things they said we had to do, we're just going to follow along in the manual here. <clears throat> just 
needed to hook the camera up to a plug-in to set it up. It's a nice long cable too. to add a new device. Please power on the device. Press the bell button and tap next. Please reset the device by holding the reset button for five seconds. Wait for the indicator light to flash red. Solid. Select the Wi Fi network you want to sync with. Please choose a 2.4G network, then enter your network password. I'm going to go ahead and use a 128 gig. Uh, it says that's the largest SD card you can put in it, and it goes right there.
That up is important because there's a locking screw you can put in from the bottom. So we hook the doorbell into the top and lock it in the bottom. On mine, I had to space it to give it enough room for the wire clearance. So whatever you need, whether you need to drill a bigger hole or whatever that looks like. I'm gonna use the Torx fastener since it comes with the wrench and the Torx just because it's less it's more tamper proof. So you have it.
That's pretty slick. Let's uh, switch cameras so I can use my phone and we can watch the software when we actually make it happen. Let's open that up. Hello, I'm here to pick up my cards. Go away. <laughs> Hold on, I'll take your money. <laughs> Thanks, man, I appreciate you. All right, man. All right, let's play around in the app here and open that up. So go back to the very beginning. You'll land something like this. You have devices, messages, and me on the bottom. So if you click that device, then you have live, you have history, you can go into a calendar, alert, screenshot, record. You could control the camera from anywhere. And then if you have the cloud feature, you can uh, grab your stuff from the cloud. But uh, to edit that camera, once you hook that device up, you could change the name, uh, how you share it. If you want to share it, you can see the installation guide, basic function, motion acting, recording management. This is where you go in and format your SD card. And then you, uh, you really want to set this up for how long do you want to record when it sees an event or if you want it just recording nonstop. With a 128 gig card, you and you were never leaving, uh, you know, the property. You could totally do that, and then just reformat that cor reformat the card every time it gets full. Uh, tells your capacities there. So, the one that uh, I here's receive alert notifications on your phone. It was getting kind of overwhelming at first. So one of the things I saw was where I go into motion detection. Okay. So this is what really helped me out a lot. So low, medium, high I was on medium. It was hitting every time a card drive by. Uh, the interval, at what you want the alarm to go on. I'm not sure on that, but this is cool. Check this out, alarm area. Basically, I could click how big I want the box to trigger an alarm. And then if you realize, ah, eh, that's just too much, you can hit the little eraser. And so what I've done is just kind of picked in front of the door and what you could do is go have a person stand there right in that spot and figure out what you know what squares is right in front of the doorbell and then hit the save and we're back at it well here's to see if you're updated all this screen turn the intercom on and off too so there's a little bit of running through the app itself super happy with this mm -hmm.